Zach Johnson, nice control player, not a lot of length. Two-time winner on the PGA Tour. Very good tee shot. Zach Johnson here in a spot of bother on the second hole, playing with Campbell. Getting it back into play. This is for a half. Not much in this putt, should break slightly from right to left. Can't give the hole away. Green's perhaps a little slower because of the rain. Well held. The Americans remain uh, one up in that uh, top foursome. Campbell and Johnson one up on Harrington and McGinley. Up ahead and getting a bit of a move on. Johnson at the third. Only 10 paces on the green, four from the right on this short par three. Par five, fourth. Zach Johnson with a long putt to win the hole. Get out of this. Oh. Unusual putting action he has. Very wristy stroke. Zach Johnson from the left. Fringe at the fifth green, an uphill putt, wander from right to left, and then possibly left to right at the very end. There you see it falls back to the right. Difficult putt to judge the line. Zach Johnson with a tough shot for him with a pin that's cut on the right side of the green. Moves everything significantly from right to left, so he has to start the ball right of the green and hook it back in. It doesn't come back, which is often the danger for a player that moves the ball a lot in the air, only one direction. So this to halve the hole for Zach Johnson. He's 100th on the putting stats in the States, not renowned necessarily for uh, his putting. Staircase going up there, yeah. There are two staircases, I don't think it's the right one. <laughs> He's talking about the left one. I'm sure he is, yes. <laughs> Just laying up. Uh... Okay. A lot of noise at seven, pretty quiet round the tenth. Johnson hasn't really looked like making a putt. Well, you've got to say, it's not the nicest looking strokes you've ever seen. Just the way he stands to it with his hands almost behind the ball and <laughs> right hand overtaking the left. Kind of low key at the present moment. The Americans have a chance to win this hole if uh, Zach Johnson can pop this one in. But he can't. Zach Johnson with the birdie at number 13. Putt should break slightly from left to right. It's been a bit uncertain. It's uncertain again. They need to start holding putts like that if they want to square up some of these matches. Nobody close to the hole on the 14th. And a, a pretty bold and well executed shot by Zach Johnson. 
Zach Johnson now has a downhill putt, pretty severe downhill putt at the 15th. This is probably a better length for him than the ones he's been missing, though. Oops. Can't be any worse, can it? <laughs> he hasn't had a very good result when he could see the liner of the hole. This was a total misread. I, I mean, where did that come from? He thought that putt was going to break left to right. It was never going to go that way. It may well be that uh, Zach's not in action tomorrow. Going for the 16th green. Zach Johnson. Plays a big hook from right to left. He'll have to start the ball at the water to have any chance of hitting it on the green. And that is a very good shot. Well, he may have missed a couple of shortish putts, but uh, that was a beautiful stroke from Zach Johnson. Zach Johnson's putting so far this afternoon has not instilled a lot of confidence from an American point of view. <laughs> Nothing in this putt straight in. Well done. So they win the hole, and the Harrington and McGinn to go to the dreaded 17th. Only one up. Difficulty of this tee shot, as you can see right there, the trees on the right really push your vision down the left side. Of course, it's not really a dog leg hole. It's just a slight continuous bend from right to left around the curve of the River Liffey. Intimidating tee shot, especially for Zach Johnson, who likes to start the ball considerably right and bend it in from right to left. So those trees certainly encroach upon his line of vision. I was impressed with the way that he held his nerve on the last hole. That was uh, an important shot for them. Get her on the green. Committed himself fully to the shot. Got through it and left it right. It's all right though. <laughs> an interesting situation here on the 17th because Johnson goes for the birdie. Should he miss it, of course, McGinley will have a putt to win the match. I think Zach Johnson's got his eye and he hold a good putt. Oh, well, he played a very good second shot uh, at uh, 16 and that's given him a lot of confidence and I think he'll hold this one. It's going to come round uh, a bit from the right. About like that. Absolutely perfect. Zach Johnson may have had his problems early on, but my goodness, what a good putt to hold because that really puts the pressure on Harrington and McGinley. You know, in putts like this, this is a putt here. It's the equivalent of trying to win a tournament, win the biggest tournament that you've ever had. And he's only won one on tour. His heart rate will be up, or two on tour. Heart rate will be up. Mine's up, and I'm just watching him. Yeah. This one is uh, for country and team. Inside left. It's nice for, and firm. For a half point for the Americans. Yeah. Well, uh, Harrington and McGinley finish all square with Chad Campbell and Zach Johnson, who win two of the last three holes. It looked as if uh, the Europeans were going to win that uh, first point of the afternoon foursomes. They didn't. It was all squared at the end. To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.